All right, some of you guys remember way back some of the first bug out uh, vehicle videos I started to do. At the very end, when we put everything away, um, I was telling you about these go claws or flex tracks that I use for tire chains. I think these are actually version two. They use the ratchet straps on the uh, more of a plastic uh, piece. It's got the the nice solid plastic X. It takes three X's per tire. You can see even it on a 35 by 12 and a half on a 15 inch rim. The ver the I think it's called version three or type three. The size three uh, still fits very comfortably. Now when I first got these, a buddy of mine was using them on his Toyota uh, and loved them. They were awesome. Um, you just used them in deep snow, absolutely just tore it up. Now the company says you can use these on dirt, sand, mud, uh, a lot of other things. But notably, this version 2 with the um, ratcheting strap are a little bit weaker. Now I used them on a couple mountain passes, streets, stuff like that in the snow over the several years. Um, it, initially when I had these I only had 31 inch tires so I contacted the company and I got new straps because you actually will break off the straps to fit your tires. Um, that way they can fit multiple sizes and you kind of custom fit them to your tire and you have to do that before you obviously you can't just throw this in the back of your truck like most people do with their tire chains and then when it snows you're going over past that's when they most people try to learn how to put their snow chains on. So these are actually fairly easy to do. You don't have to move the vehicle um, with them. Uh, I may provide a link to the company's video for installing them. They're very quick to do. Um, I won't go through the process because they pretty much cover it. Um, I'll just put a link in there. But a couple times in the mountains when I burned through some of the, the snows, maybe only six inches or so, but it was still slippery enough that I couldn't get enough traction, I was using these. If I burned through the snow down into the rocks and the mud, um, I broke a couple of these before. Now when I got the 35s, I actually ordered extra just in case that happened. And um, so it wasn't a problem. It just has a stainless screw at each X corner and you can get new straps from the company. No problem. But out of the blue, the uh, one of the co-founders and inventors of these guys, um, he had relinquished uh, controlling interest, I guess you'd say, in the company years ago. And that's when this version 2 came out. Version 1 is a more robust version, and through talking to him, uh, he just kind of wanted to know how I used them and how I liked them and stuff like that, and I kind of gave him some of the stories that my buddies and I have used them with, and this is even before I started doing YouTube. Um, and it was interesting. I don't know how he got a hold of me. I've only mentioned him in a couple videos. I've never put him in the tag sublink. There's never been a video about them, but yet he got a hold of me because he knew I had them. So he's probably an avid watcher of uh, I don't know preparedness or maybe just off-roading um, stuff like that I'm not sure how he found my channel and he would have had to watch my video all the way to the end to see me load these in the pickup at the end of one of the bug out videos so in talking to him uh, he was very interested he liked my videos and he was hoping that I could uh, just try him out some more and with me being down here in more of a open country than the Seattle area I'm really looking forward to him my idea was to always keep them um, for the overland vehicles. They carry a lot of sand ladders, they call them. Um, and I'm very interested to try and use these as traction ladders uh, when they're across the ground. But I'll show you the other versions that he sent me. As you can see, the, the actual, um, they're calling them snow claws. I think they're um, probably going to be renaming some stuff. Uh, one of the reasons he contacted me is he's now back in the game. He's now taking more control over his company. And with that, this design that actually takes a small tool, um, it was his an, an original design. The company that took over controlling interest is the one who came up with the ratcheting straps. Um, and they were great for street use and all that kind of stuff, but it's a little bit less robust. As you can see, the thinner straps that right there compared to the thicker polyurethane and they're actually just a different material um, that he uses on these but they have these small uh, stainless steel carriage bolts that are locked into a square back here and I'll show you they essentially overlap each other and lock into each other and you have to use a tool to 
pull them tight. And um, that's the, the one downside with this version is you have to have a small tool. And um, I think we're going to probably put them on here and size them up on this tire because I haven't used this. And I want to know how they work before I need to put them on in the snow and stuff. All right, well, we got them on. Um, I found out that uh, for my size, it's one past where the carriage bolt is. Um, so I'm going to mark this on all of them to remind me. The easiest way to do it when you're putting it on the vehicle is uh, to attach your back to the size that you know it's going to be. And then you're that way you're not back there trying to adjust the size of the back strap. And that's really why you should do this before you need to actually use the chains. So with that in mind, I found out that one past the center here, so the second notch, is perfect. So that means all the ones on the back side of the tire, I'm going to already have in that second notch. So when I come to put this together with the tool, then I'm, I know that all these have to snap but all I'm doing is at the front of the tire, on the outside. I have three attachment points, and that's it. Um, only issue I really had was because I'm doing it on a spare tire, and the tire wanted to move um, around on me as I was doing it. Well, obviously, you're not going to have that problem when it's attached to your truck. So, here's your uh, slight introduction, and uh, you'll be seeing them this winter. About to take a trip to the desert. So we'll see if anybody gets stuck in the sand, and I can try my sand ladder theory. Thanks.